Hello, and good day to all of you. Welcome back to Asclepian Gaming. I'm Asclepian Wisdom, and we're going to get back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Let's go! So we've got our cute little intro from Isabel. Again, I'm kind of gaming a little bit later. Oh, it's raining outside. Wow, I have ADD. <laughs> it's been bad lately, too. But anyway, I've been gaming a lot later in the day. Simply because I've been trying to be a good little adult and keeping my house clean. So I did some dope meal prep today. I had kind of missed out on breakfast, so I hate I had like a really a kind of a brunch, I guess. So not really lunch, not really breakfast, but I made a farro bowl. Farro is a, like a special kind of grain, delicious. And it was with some vegetables and it was a really nice light brunch. And then I had just water with that, nothing exciting. And then I did a lot of meal prep while day nine material was finishing from the edit and then I also did laundry so it's been really productive so pretty much in the two hours that it took to have the final edits saved and to get day nine uploaded onto YouTube I did all my chores like a good little adult so now because I'm not really hungry, I'm nice and satisfied. I have my, probably shouldn't be, but I have an afternoon coffee, which I'm gonna sip right now, cause it's delicious. How do you guys like your coffee? I like mine black. Mmm. That's some good stuff right there. I've got that, a buttload of water. I have a couple squares of dark chocolate just for like a, like a snack slash treat. I don't really like milk chocolate like I used to anymore. I just like dark chocolate and it goes really well with my coffee. Just saying. Oh, hey. So it's so it's a rainy day. We can see that by the window in the background. Again, love these details. Isabel's given us our morning announcement here. There's some little flowers in the background and I don't know what she's drinking. I'm hoping it's iced tea, but I mean, it is past noon. So she just wants an afternoon cocktail. I'm not gonna judge her. She's an adult. She knows what she's doing. Good for you, Isabel. If it becomes a habit, we'll talk later. <laughs> but yeah, so I did a little work last night. Uh, if you guys watched video nine, day nine, yeah, we're on 10 now. Why can I never remember stuff? My pockets, oh, that's right. I'll have to come, I'll have to come back. I got the doctor's mask I'm really excited about because of what's going on in the world. I thought it was funny. Uh, but yeah, I, so if you didn't watch day nine material, I basically went out and met up with my friend, Andrew, who he is basically in the Southern hemisphere. So with him being in the Southern hemisphere, I was able to get a couple of fish and some sharks actually that I haven't otherwise had. I helped him to get a, uh, blue Marlin and, or blue Marlin, or is it Merlin? Blue Merlin? a really big swordfish looking thing <laughs> and he caught a tuna and Andrew shout out to you I finally caught my own tuna last night right before I went to bed I just thought hey why the heck not I'm gonna try it myself but uh, you, it's not a bamboo shoot it's a bamboo shoot uh, lantern that glows really pretty at night maybe I'll try to get some nighttime footage maybe I'll try to get some multiplayer footage in today. I don't know. I'm thinking about what I can do. But yeah, I, I did a little bit of decorating. I got some walls up and some pretty things up. I mean, I, I'm not super happy with it. Like I said, I might dig out some of these uh, trees here because they're kind of, mm, it's a black bass. Boo. Nope. We're going to put you back in there. I was hoping it was another string fish so I could sell it for more money. That's okay. I'm still kind of sad we can't get in these baths because it'd be kind of just like a cute little thing just to chill and relax, but this is what I've got going on. Nothing super special. I think we have a second ramp today. I'm supposed to pick those up. 
Yeah, we do. Yay! So we got a second ramp today. We need a bridge. Once I have like two more bridges, I think I'll be happy. Uh, my nervous thing is, is that I really want the bridge here. I really want a nice bridge, you guys. I'm just... <sighs> the price of the bridge is a little ridiculous, so... What else did we do? Oh. Nice. That's like three days. This will be the third day that I get to actually buy clothing from her. And so I really need to get some bridges. I really want a nice bridge. I just, oh, it's so expensive for the bridge that I want, but I don't want to do a cheap bridge just for the sake of having one and then have to go back and spend money anyway, just to get the nice bridge because that's just it's I'd rather just do it the right the first time that's the kind of person I am so what we're gonna do today is today's goal is to I couldn't <laughs> uh, I could not get the string fish to pop up for my friend when they were here so today Andrew and I are gonna re-meet and try to get that for him so I think the best thing for that is we're going to just mass produce uh, mass produce some bait, which is going to take some time. But if we get to like maybe if each of us can make like 50 bait each, we can have 100. And hopefully by that point, we'll get the string fish for him because March is almost over, ladies and gentlemen. And that's it. Then you wait until... Until the next time it's here. Or you can cheat in time travel, but wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. It gets a little complicated. You can mess some stuff up pretty bad if you're not careful. And it can backfire on you really quick. So that's just my advice. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> careful what you do. What is that? Blue diner wall? Oh, that's, that's kind of cute. I just actually got this yesterday for the kitchen. I had this. This looked really bad, like vinyl flooring that hasn't been cleaned in a while. That's kind of cute. That's kind of weird. That's also kind of weird, but I really like how this one looks. So I think I'm going to stick with that one. It brightens up the room just a tad, and I'm hoping that it'll go with my kitchen slash cafe look a little bit better, to be honest with you. So that's my plan. But yeah, so I've got a lot of stuff that I need to sell. Because I just shoved it all in my inventory last night. Because I'm, I'm really angry that they don't give you as much stuff when you drop it in the little bin. Not a fan. Not a fan of it at all. I got this dope hat. Dope ass looking hat from Stefan's island yesterday two days ago i don't remember anymore it's been a while what else do you got oh wait a second what's up oh oh okay 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 so Okay, so we don't have to gather. That's okay. I'm okay with picking out a location. That's awesome. So it looks like she's ready to move here. And it looks like they want us to pick the location. I'm okay with this. Taylor's construction kit. Thank you. That deserves another sip of coffee. Cheers to Mabel and the sisters. Mmm. Coming into town. Today's coffee is a mix of espresso and some hot water, which is kind of... I would love to put them here, actually. Like, near the flowers. I think it would be kind of cute. I could always do, like, here, but I feel like we'd lose quite a bit of stuff over here. I feel like this is spaced out enough to where... They wouldn't be like right on top of stuff and they'd have this like cute mountain view and it'd be near these some flowers. I could maybe put some more flowers on their other side if that's what they want. Let's see what it looks like. 
want to see what it would look like. Is it going to show me the shop? Or like a construction kit? Ah, I love it. I really like it. Can I get it closer to the fence without it being a problem? Did I step back too far? I might have stepped back too far. No, actually, that... That's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm really picky. Can we go a little bit more over? What does it look like? I wanna know. Okay. So I think there's just gonna be that spot there no matter what I do. But I'm I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do it. <laughs> yeah, I think there's just gonna be that spot there no matter what I do. So I think I'm not gonna terrorize my poor brain for very long and I'm just going to be like, yeah, dope, that looks great. Thanks. Gee thanks. Yeah, look how happy I am. A wave of fashion is going to wash over us. Huzzah! All right, I, I'm really happy with that. Oh, what the? Oh yeah. So I had kind of like this on and off meteor shower last night. So when I was like, I took my switch to bed with me to just chill for a little while because I was like exhausted, but... Yeah, I had a bunch of shooting stars, and then you had to make wishes on them, and now we get star fragments. That's cool. When you wish upon a star, I'm not gonna sing no more. <laughs> I have this really bad habit of just randomly singing stuff. I'll make up my own songs, too. I'll do it when I'm driving. I'll do it when I'm gaming. I'll just do it in the middle of random conversations with friends. I'm by no means like a professional singer or good. What is that? Bloody hell. Graham. Bonjourno. My name is Graham. Glad to see I'm the first one using this campsite. I don't- there was like 16 different like language accents in that one go. I do live on this island, don't you? I figured. Yeah, I'm pretty good at reading people. Oh, you're obnoxious. I love it. I can tell that you're really gonna have- enjoy having me here. Oh, you're like one of those- okay, I hate to say it, you're like one of those dudes that's like, thinks he's nice but isn't really nice. Aren't you? Oh my god, I have to have him. I have to have him because he's super obnoxious. The VIP manager of the whole island first, just so I know this is legit. Guten Tag. My faith is in your hands, haha. -ha. <laughs> oh, I hate him. I hate him and I want him here. I hate him so much. I strongly dislike his demeanor. And that's why I want him in my island, because I need somebody I can hate. I thought I was going to hate Hazel, and she's kind of grown on me. She's a little bit nicer in this one, except for the fact that when I talk to her too much, she hates it, apparently. Oh, but I am going to hate Graham. Oh, indeed. He will become the new person who I unleash all my hate on. I want to- Ah, oh, I wish he was outside. If he was outside, I would bap him on the head so hard with my- stuff. What's in the box of mystery today? Box of mystery, you got nothing in you. Bullshit. <laughs> okay, who do we got? Do we talk to you about this super obnoxious hamster gerbil thing? I'm really not sure what he is, I'm being honest. Go check in on our guest. I already did. I already did. Yeah, see, I don't mess around, Tom. I get stuff done. I should be behind that desk, Tom. I should be wearing that glorious shirt. I could go get one. I forgot you could buy one. <laughs> but I'm trying to save my Nook Miles, man. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So I'll give you that now. 
Oh god, does that mean I have to build more crap for a house? Ugh. Ugh. Are you gonna make me build crap again? Also. 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 I really need a bridge, sir. That's going to cost me more than the house that I currently have. Ugh. Bridge, please. Bridge, gimme, gimme. Uh, I really, uh, I really, really, okay, guys, I really want this one. This is, eh, I'm not excited about it. I, I like natural looks for stuff right now. The log bridge, I mean, I'm tempted. I'm tempted because it's cheap. But I want my town to look good. The incline, I'm going with the basic inclines because I think they look nice. I feel like that's what I like. However, I really want some nice bridges. So I'm gonna regret this. But uh, it's gonna look good, I'm sure. Uh, it's gonna look good, I'm sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna do that. So, aww. Look at her spraying and sniffing her little flowers. You're precious. I love you, Isabel. So, yeah. So I think today's goal <laughs> is going to be making a buttload of money. And so that we can have a bridge tomorrow. Because I'm an overachiever. So I'm hoping for a bridge tomorrow. And I'm hoping for the Able Sisters to be there. And I'm hoping that maybe we can get started on this construction junk. Ah, uh, it's like that spot was made for a bridge. I really like it. I love it. Uh, it's gonna cost me a fortune though. Balls. Okay, so where's a good spot for a new resident? Cause I have a couple of ideas for decorations. I kinda wanna recreate Stonehenge with that stone arch and maybe a stone table or slab because it's obnoxious and I love it. And I'm thinking about putting it behind Maggie's house uh, up in kind of the northeast-ish area. If I don't put it there, like the far, far northeast area might be where I want to put it. But I was thinking more of the, the base layer just kind of tucked away in the back over by the cliffs for some stupid reason. I thought it'd be kind of funny to do that. I still haven't decided if I'm really going to commit to that. But it's really, really tempting. But what I'm thinking is that... I'm thinking maybe... Maybe a little north of the campsite. I want to put him somewhere I don't really care to see him again. Because <laughs> I'm a terrible person. So let's head over... Uh, just I'm so happy to see all this here makes me relaxed so okay so how many residents are we going to have so I'm thinking about putting a bridge I don't know if I can put a bridge here I think that's too narrow but I'm thinking about putting a bridge here so I could possibly put them here Enough to where they're not quite in the way or closer to the ocean. Yeah, probably closer to the ocean because then I have like a pathway here and then it's not too bad. I'm being too nice to him. I'm giving him an ocean front. I should be mean. Um, uh, can we move over more? Is that, is that allowed or are we too close to the edge? Brats. Okay. Maybe here? Nope. Ah, Dagnab. Okay. Scotia more. I'm too close to edge. It still doesn't like that I'm close to that, I guess. Okay. Fine. God. Let's take a look at how that looks. Let me imagine it. I want to envision this golden masterpiece. Oh. <laughs> God. Okay. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. 
So we've picked out a bridge, we've picked out these guys, we've picked out a couple things. Ah, oh, he's so obnoxious. I Graham is now enemy number one. But yeah, we gotta go look for more star pieces too. Because if we're gonna have star pieces out and about, that might be a nice thing. <laughs> My dog is sleeping on the floor behind me. And she's like growling in her sleep right now. I don't I don't think she's having a good dream. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go uh, wake her up <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and accomplish kind of picking up some stuff, getting some money towards some of these things and kind of going from there. So yeah, I will be back hopefully with footage from either playing on my friend's island or nighttime so you can see some stuff. And I'll see you then, everybody. I tried to find a way that I can get my friends to be on the recordings as well. I haven't quite figured out a system yet, but we are in the Southern Hemisphere currently. And I've caught almost every shark kind that is available at this time, except for the Great White Shark. That is the only one that I haven't caught yet. I just got the whale shark and the sunfish today. I'm rocking this super shifty look today with my little mask, hat, and trench coat. And what I'm hoping to do is catch the great white shark if I can before I head back to my island to help my friend catch the stringfish. So currently I am on Andrew's island and I've gotten, oh, I also caught a catfish too. We haven't run into any scorpions or anything like that, mostly because it's not nighttime. So maybe at some point I'll get one of those as well. But right now, I'm trying to keep my goal nice and simple. So that is what I'm working on right now. But I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I was doing with the multiplayer with some friends. Hopefully I can get a setup so we can have like a whole group of people on one island, just having fun and goofing around. We'll see how that goes. So <laughs> I don't know who's comfortable and who's not comfortable recording and doing stuff on my channel yet. <laughs> but oh God, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He leaves little cute paw prints in the sand, but look at that. I thought my girl had a unibrow. Ooh-wee. Son. Need a nice trim. Is this a shark? Cannot tell. No, it is not. There is no fin. The fin stuff, there's one. Kind of throws me off because it looks like they are not completely out of water. Oh. Oh. Okay, we got some kind of shark because it's vibrating really heavily. And, ah, oh, it's a hammerhead. Dang. But, yeah, now you guys are kind of seeing a little bit of stuff. I'm hoping it stops raining while I'm here so I can get ants because they like to migrate to rotten fruit. But, yeah, my friend's got acorns when he shakes the trees out, but we've recently cleaned up some stuff so it doesn't look all that exciting lately. But I was hoping to show you guys some nighttime footage on my island. Oh, wow. Check it out. We got a turtle. Oh, good thing I pack extras. But yeah, I'm hoping to show you guys some nighttime footage. So hopefully we can maybe see some stars again. And you can kind of see the sequence for the shooting stars. If not, I guess I will. But I'd like to at least show you guys that as well. So today's goal is to hopefully get a great white shark. If we don't, kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. There will be another time, of course, as usual. But then after that, the goal is going to be to actually get the string fish for Andrew because the string fish is like my arch nemesis. Go away, you arch nemesis fish, because it took me forever. The great white shark is becoming that for me next because it has taken me a really long time to even find this thing. I cannot find it anywhere. I do not have the luck when I'm finding fish like some of my friends. So here's to hoping. Hopefully I'll figure it out. Hopefully everything will work out. 
and we'll get some really cool fish for everybody today. Uh, our friend Stefan also popped in and helped us out and joined us as well. And so, and this is Andrew right here. I'm going to try to catch this. Nope. Just kidding. I'm not going to try to catch this thing because uh, I was not lined up. Andrew so kindly gave me more space. Ugh. Here we go. Oh god, I'm gonna click it. Oh dog! No, it is a sucker fish. It's a sucker fish. I knew it because it's not vibrating as strongly. So we're gonna sneeze at that one. And we're wearing a mask today, so we're doing better. We're covering our sneezes today. Hint hint. Cover your cough, cover your sneeze, wash your hands. But yeah, so hopefully I'll be back uh, with some nighttime footage for you guys. And I'll talk to you then. Well, as promised, it is nighttime, but not as promised. It's not a clear night. So, we are tarantula hunting in my town because I was fishing at my friend's town and once I actually came back to sell stuff or to donate stuff, I couldn't get back to the airport without running into a tarantula in some way, shape, or form to include being snuck up on from behind, bitten, and then passed out. So I figured it might be a good chance for my friend who hasn't had any scorpions in their place to try scorpions. They've had scorpions. They haven't had any tarantulas. So I figured it was nice for them to kind of come over here and try their hand at finding one of my wonderful nighttime guests that have since graced me with their presence three times in a row now and insisted that they bit me. So, hopefully we can find one, hopefully I can catch one and it isn't a total waste. And, yeah. Other than that, I caught a few new fish. I was just trying to find him, a tarantula, and then I can show you some of the new additions to our museum. That I am quite proud of, actually. I am, like, so paranoid that they're just gonna sneak up on me again. Little bastages. Mm. No luck so far. That's what we want. All right, let's see here. Oh, and I got a new outfit because I went to a, another friend's island and they actually have the tailor shop already unlocked so so we got some new guys here some guppies we've got the angel fish yeah it's coming along swimmingly aha see what i did there you're welcome oh this is new all right all right all right we've got some of these new guys Got them from the river at my friend's place. Looks like we've got some trees now to decorate. I got a snapping turtle. I also caught an extra snapping turtle, so I took the snapping turtle to my house. It's really cool because he doesn't have a tank or anything. He just kind of stands on the floor. So I've named him Frank. And Frank is going to stay with me for the rest of Frank's life, I guess. <laughs> What else did we get? Oh, this glorious group. Yes, so there's our tuna harassing the sardines. We've got our we've got our sharks. Our sucker fish is following our sharks quite a bit. Here's the biggest sunfish, as I like to call it. Literally when you catch this thing, it's a pretty much about as big as you and you can't even see yourself behind it when you're holding it up. Then there's this ugly crew. As usual. And my least favorite fish, the oarfish. I think it's her, like, nightmare-inducing. 
It's very metal, though. It's very metal fish. Super hardcore. But yeah, look at my new outfit. Ah, uh, yeah. We're rocking this COVID-19 fashion statement with our masks again. But this one's a little bit cooler looking than your typical doctor mask I had on. Got a new beret. Working that Paris Fashion Week. Aw, yeah. Got some fuzzy boots. Got the boots with the fur. I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't be allowed to say certain things. Let's see. Got these, this crew again. I don't know if I added anybody new here. Maybe the zebra turkey fish over here looking fine as hell. Look at that. Aw, look at him show off. Show off. Oh yeah, we got some of these guys too. Got the ribbon eel, clownfish, surgeon fish, or as I like to call it, the Nemo and Dory fishes. Yeah. It's all coming around. It's all good. In the hood. But yeah. Not unfortunately going to get to show any shooting stars tonight. It's been raining on my island literally all day. In fact, it was still raining when I had left to go to my friend's island, which is also raining. And then it's ironic because... <laughs> and then I returned and it stopped raining and then I was being like attacked by... Now I'm like paranoid. Now I'm being attacked by these <laughs> spiders. And I don't know where they're all coming from at any point because I have all these trees everywhere and they hide in them because the view's bad. And this is where one bit me. I heard a weird noise. I thought maybe one of my villagers wanted to come talk to me. You know how they get the little exclamation mark. And I was like, oh, someone wants to chat. No, no, it was not. I should have kept running because it was a spider. <laughs> Good old tarantula. Coming to say hello with his face, with his little mouth. Rude. But yeah. Now I don't see any. This is so frustrating. I literally, I could not make it back to the freaking. I couldn't make it back to the damn thing. He's all sad. He's all sad because he probably can't find a tarantula. And now I feel really bad because I feel like I've led my friend astray. But I swear to God, like, I got in, I donated stuff, sold stuff, and then I came over here into the town square area, and I almost ran, literally almost ran into the tarantula. And then instead, what ended up happening is that I caught it, and all was good. So I went and sold that. I was going to head back to my friend's island. And then poor Hazel was being harassed by a damn tarantula. She literally froze in fear in place and couldn't even move. And she and that tarantula were staring each other down, man. And so what did I do? I caught that thing. I caught it to help save Hazel. Why? Because I'm a nice person. That's why. So then I was selling that one. And I was going to come back to my friend's island, minding my own business, but then, I thought somebody wanted my attention. Nope. That's when I got bit. So then I told my friend, you should probably come here. And then what happened? They came here, and there's not a gosh damn tarantula to be found. Not a damn one. It is a shame. So that's where we've ended. On a cloudy night. Full of tarantulas and disappointment. That's what I'm going to call this video. Tarantulas and disappointment. But it's not true. That's a lie. It hasn't all been disappointing. Today's been fairly decent. I've caught a lot of new fish. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Never mind. I take it back. It's going to be called tarantulas and disappointment. Because it's raining again. And I'm pretty sure it's 10 o'clock. So my store is closed. Well, I guess I'm going to go back to fishing. It was nice knowing all of you guys. Hopefully you guys have a good day. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Man. 
I'm really bummed. Reminds me of my uncle. Why did I never see that comment before? Probably because I clicked through it too quick. Damn. I am disappointed. Tarantulas and disappointment. That's the title. It's that's just gonna be it. All right, guys. Like I said, if you like what I do, hit the subscribe button. If you click the little bell, that just lets you know when I release new stuff. Please share this with your friends. Share it with your family. Share it with your sweet grandmama. Whatever you decide to do, that's on you. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>